Hi, my name is Matt and I am an Applications Engineer for InnerSil Corporation. In this brief video, I'd like to go over a few of the changes that were made to InnerSil's offline simulation tool, iSimPE, for its version 7.0 release. These changes include the ability to search the entire component library, easy access part selector, a MOSFET and diode selector tool, and the addition of jumpers. The 7.0 version is available for download on InnerSil's website. From any page, click the Tools tab and then click iSIM. This will bring you to the iSIM landing page shown here. Be sure you are logged in and have your pop-ups enabled. Next, click the Download iSIM PE link. In the new window, click on this Download iSIM PE link. Now that you have downloaded version 7.0, please install the software so we can dive into the added features. Now that you are up and running, the first features I would like to point out are the search function and the part selector tool, both of which are located at the top right of the main screen. First, let's look at the search function. Clicking on the link opens a pop-up window. The default search looks for generic components like voltage sources, resistors, and capacitors, stuff like that. If you would like to search for a specific part number, just click on the Include Model Library Parts checkbox. This allows you to search any device, generic or specific, that is located within the iSimPE library. Let's now back up and check out the Part Selector tool. Clicking on the link will open a pane on the right side of the schematic viewer. From this pane you can easily browse the entire library devices. To place a single occurrence, double click the desired device. To place multiple occurrences, right click the device and select the repeat option. Now you can place as many instances as you wish. When finished, Press the escape key. Being able to search for a device comes in very handy, but what if you don't know what device you actually need? Let's say you are looking for a Schottky diode that is rated for 5 amps or greater. Just looking in the library will not help you very much. That is why we have added the ability to search for a device based on its specifications, at least for MOSFETs and diodes. To find a correctly specified FET or diode, simply click Place, select from specifications, and then choose which device you need. From here you can filter and sort through all of the devices that are available in the library. Have you ever ran across the issue where you have two different circuit configurations that you would like to switch between quickly without having to delete or change them? Or are you looking to mimic an evaluation board with multiple configurations accessible via jumpers? Well, with the addition of jumpers in the library, these issues are now easily solved. Jumpers are electrically modeled as a true open or short and are compatible with both simplest and symmetrics. Anywhere from 1 to 64 poles are available, each having one or two positions. That brings us to the end of this introductory video. But there are more features that are available in this new release. If you'd like to hear more about them, contact Central Applications via our Ask an Expert online support interface located on the InnerSil support page. Be sure to check back here as well for more videos and information on ISIM. Thank you and have a great day.